The outspoken Hone Harawera was in town and, as always, was not short on things to say. He was in Dunedin to mark the Uruwera police raids on October 15, 2007, which saw the controversial arrest of 17 people. Police believed some members of the Tuhoi tribe were running terrorism training camps in the Uruwera mountain range and carried out major armed raids against them. The Independent Police Conduct Authority later found these raids to be unlawful. Around 170 people gathered in the Burns Lecture Theatre to listen to Harawera speak and watch a documentary about the raids. There was also a question and answer session for people to grill Harawera on political issues relating to the raids and the situation now. Harawera says there has been no shift in attitudes by police and there has been no apology to the Tuhoi tribe. The police haven't changed um, in, in those terms in respect of Tuhoi and neither have they changed in terms of their tactics in spying on communities. They broke the law when they spied on those people in the Uruwera and they continue to break the law in their work against um, New Zealand citizens in conjunction with the GCSB. He says the controversial GCSB bill and the spying on Kim.com shows the government is pandering to American commercial interests. We are becoming a puppet state of America. We have no independence, we have no sovereignty, we, we, we are selling that down the line. That's a scary thing about it. New Zealanders were encouraged to band together and vote based on these issues at next year's election. This particular issue, what's happening with the, the GCSB and uh, its ability to intrude into the lives of every New Zealand citizen. If we don't stand up collectively together on this, then we're in dire straits. The GCSB bill passed its final reading in August, making it legal for the government to spy on the communication content of New Zealanders. Six years on from the Tuhoi raids, and it is clear these issues are still at the forefront of people's minds. Siobhan Downs, 39 Dunedin News.